one of the uh, key challenges we faced in this project um, surrounds the issue of impulse and capital. If you're running a project, particularly for youth, who generally would have no previous experiences or assets that can be converted to as input for their new businesses, issues surrounding uh, access to inputs and capital is really critical. In the previous project, the pilot projects we operated, that was one of the major challenges. We did not have uh, any provisions to give the trainees input so that they could initiate their macro enterprises. So that was a major challenge. Uh, what we're doing right now, as we look more towards the future, we're trying to find an innovative way to address this. We don't want to like provide just handouts. We are developing a savings match scheme where throughout the phasing of the project, through the various months, young women are able to make some savings that we can provide matches to that will provide their, that serve as incentives for business investments. That's one of the uh, critical challenges we faced in previous projects, and that's how we intend to address it. The second major problem we had was with uh, job skills training, particularly when it comes to making transition to wage employment. It was really um, challenging because uh, in the former sector, there are not a lot of jobs that you'll find. So the major emphasis we're having right now is directly engaging with uh, private sector partners so that they make commitments towards employing these guys. So it's more about finding the existing opportunities and then forming a relationship with the employers who do commit themselves to provide placement and employment opportunities for girls as they complete the various training. So those are some of the challenges and as we look towards the future, these are adjustments or plans we are making to overcome those hurdles.